Sup bros and bro -esses. If you're wearing an analog wristwatch, then you can find an accurate north to south line just by using your watch in combination with the sun. To do this, hold your watch horizontal and point the hour hand directly towards the sun. Now all you need to do is bisect the angle between the hour hand and the 12 hour mark. Or in other words, run a straight line directly through the middle of the hour hand and the 12 o'clock mark. And this will be your north to south line. North will be the direction furthest away from the sun because the sun is on the southern side of the sky. Easy peasy, right? It's important to remember to point the hour hand directly at the sun and not the 12 hour mark or minute hand. As I'm guilty of making this mistake myself, I just want to emphasize that point. Also, this method only works in the Northern Hemisphere. And this also only works if you have the correct time on your watch. Goes without saying, but if your wrist swag has stopped, then it won't be accurate at all. But you can also apply this method to a digital wristwatch or any other object that tells time, like a cell phone, because you can recreate a clock face with sticks. Or if you're a lot brighter than me, you can do it just in your mind. After recreating the current time on a traditional clock face with some sticks, you can apply the method and gain the same accurate north to south line. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's talk about the tricky aspect to this method. Yeah, it seems easy, but there are certain times of the day where it can be confusing to work out. This confusion stems from attempting to use this method at 6 o'clock. As you point your hour hand towards the 6 p.m. sun and go to bisect the angle, it's a perfect horizontal line. There's no one side closer or further away from the sun. So how can we find north or south? It requires some prior knowledge of the sun's position or movement through the sky. At 6pm generally the sun is beginning to set during the autumn and winter months. So you'll naturally be looking in a general westward position. And you'll also be looking in a general westward position for the spring and summer months. Just by knowing this we can visualise a compass face and determine which way is north or south. As long as you remember that the sun generally rises in the east and sets in the west, then you'll be able to work out the fiddly times such as this. If you have any more questions or concerns about this method then let me know and I'll give you an explanation. Have a nice day bros.